All right, guys, uh, Adventure 82, we're back again. Right, so today I'm actually at, well, what seemed to be my old house because uh, we're in Jersey still. Uh, if you're watching this, you probably saw the last one where I was saying that we'd had a bit of a hiccup. I think the video was called, I'll move to the UK to so snag, if I remember correctly. Um, it hasn't hit a snag. Well, it did, but we've solved that problem. So, uh, what I thought I'd do is I'd do it here at the old house, um, and just it's just it's just a quick update basically to let you know what's going on. Um, and I'll also do this um, as part of the the um, move to the UK thing as well. So I put it in with that. Uh, um, playlist so I'm currently in the old back garden eucalyptus trees not leaf leaf this year so I'm not sure what's up with it which has annoyed me but nonetheless so right if you watch the last one you'll be aware that we had a house um, that was going to be in a place uh, in Pontefract or just outside Pontefract um, and for one reason and another, mainly because the landlord changed his mind, which is his prerogative, it's his house. Um, we end up losing that house um, because of a mistake via the credit referencing agency and then the landlord didn't want to change his mind back. So we've now been living with all these boxes like that, for about five Five months now? Yeah, because we started back in January, so it'll be about five months now. Um, and basically what's happened is, um, I then had to phone around all the different landlords and I found out a new problem, which I think I also mentioned in the last one, which is that um, they, a lot of places expect you to physically view the properties. So there's quite a lot of uh, letting agencies you can't use when you're, um, looking for property outside of the UK. They expect you to be able to go and physically view it, which if you have the money, and if I had the money, I wouldn't have minded doing, but we weren't in that position. So, what happened? Well, uh, I managed to find a couple of letting agencies um, that were willing to do views over Zoom or uh, WhatsApp, that kind of thing. Um, one of them, uh very helpfully um did everything within the space of about a week so we've had an actual formal address to move to since for the last two weeks um at which point it all kicked off and it was all stations go which is why there was no video last week unfortunately um so we're now going to be moving to North Yorkshire, a place called uh, West Witten, which I believe, which if you look at it on a map is just up by the North Yorkshire Dales. Um, me and Erica are visiting that on the 23rd for the first time to sort out bits and pieces for the kids. Um, so have some sort of normality um, after the five and a half hour drive up to to there from, from getting off the ferry at Portsmouth. There has been some other hurdles, which is why I've not been able to video, um, because sorting out and tying up the loose ends in Jersey, I thought would be quite simple once I had the address, because that's basically what we were waiting for. This not turned out that way. So it turns out that when you leave Jersey, um, if you have anything with uh, the Social Security, they won't let you tell them until a month before. So you have to wait until a month before you leave, before you can fill in the form on the Government of Jersey's website to tell them that you're leaving, which covers the income tax, the Social Security, um, and any other government agencies that your name might be on the list with. You also have to put on that form anybody um, who's living with you as well. Um, and let them know if they're leaving and you have to tell them the date you're leaving. But what's quite interesting as well is um, in the case of income support, which is Social Security, once you tell them you're leaving, that's not enough. They want proof you're leaving. So you have to actually give them a copy 
of your either your aeroplane reservation or in our case ferry reservation to prove you're actually going to leave and not just lying about leaving i'm not sure why you'd lie about leaving but you have to prove you're leaving so once we did that i then had to sort out some other stuff you know your normal stuff like the phone building things which you imagine would also be easy it's not so we had to uh sort out uh disconnecting the lines which is filling in a form that wasn't so difficult but the problem was is that they wanted uh us to pay basically pay to be disconnected they charge you because our contract we didn't know when we were going to be leaving at the time when we signed up for the contract so we had to pay our way out the contract which isn't unheard of but the fact that they wanted me to um pay the way out of the contract um and then also pay up the devices when the, the account itself wasn't officially closing because when it had been transferred over to my mum made no sense so i had to pay 500 pounds for devices on the account even though the account was staying open um which was a bit of a menace but it, you know it swings and roundabouts jec were all right that was nice and simple um trying to get my head around how the universal credit works in the uk is really quite complicated so for those who don't know um i'm unofficially autistic as unofficially as in the people i've spoken to over here like jersey adult autism are like 95 percent certain i'm autistic but i don't have an official diagnosis and it would take about two years for jersey to get there so if i want an official diagnosis which i would like to get just so i know exactly what what why i struggle so much um then i would have to sort that out in the uk because i'm not going to get that done here um and recently jersey have actually made, made an announcement that they refuse to take on diagnosing any more adults for the foreseeable future because they have too many um people um, being put forward to be diagnosed as autistic and not enough people to diagnose them so adults now i've been told they're not allowed to be diagnosed as autistic until the states have caught up diagnosing the children who are autistic um i'm not sure that's a solution um but that's what they've chosen to do so uh we like i say we move on the fourth fourth of june um the autism assessment thing plays into the universal credit because that means from my from anybody's standpoint i did explain this in a video quite a while ago when i was struggling with everything back at the end of last year um one of the jer videos that i'd been struggling um and they after assessing me and stuff with basic assessments um, sign me up is unfit to work because there's too many basic things like rotors, um, the unpredictability of the rotors, um, not knowing whether I'm coming or going, not able to, to deal with uh, sudden change um, when I know what I'm doing and then I don't. It flusters me, gets me a bit confused um, and just basically throws me off the rails. Um, for the last 20 years I've been married, I've historically always worked with Erica, not on purpose, but just because I was self-employed for most of that. So that's how that worked. Um, and so it wasn't until Erica went to work on her own for the first time since we'd been married, in fact, um, last year that we found that actually when it comes to being on my own, um, my functionality completely disappears. So. I'm no good at going to the supermarket or uh, organising the kids um, or the, just even sorting out the house. I just stop. Um, I don't have that drive to keep you going. Um, that kind of fire you have to keep pushing forward kind of disappears when I'm on my own. Um, which I wasn't expecting. Um, I'm still 
working my way through that one but anyway so I feel like a different person have done since that all happened um, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that I'm not exactly 100% the person I thought I was anyway back to the universal credit so that plays into universal credit because I'm not a, I'm not a because they class me unable to work here at least for the foreseeable that's going to be the case probably in the UK I would I would like to do some sort of work part-time or something I don't want to be at home on my own sitting on my backside with other people carrying me that's going to annoy me um, so uh, even if I can I, I'm hoping to get some sort of part-time work that's on a permanent basis hope maybe if I'm allowed depending how that works that um, but either way to apply to when you apply for universal credit what they want is they want you to have three months uh you want to basically have to have a three month sick note from a uk gp which i don't have and i can't get a uk gp until i move to the uk because obviously you can't sign up for a gp until you're physically living there so we've got to sort that out next week when we go over as well because I've got to sort out that and then I've got to get a sick note from them which then has to be sent with the form I have to fill in for universal credit which I'm going to be filling in with help from Citizens Advice which is something I mean to tell you as well. If you do have trouble filling in a universal credit form if you phone Citizens Advice in the UK they will actually guide you through it over the phone um, if you're struggling with filling that in. Um, so that's that and so i've got to get those and i've got to get i've had to get a letter from jersey adult autism to give them that and i've had to get the letter from my doctor over here that the one that he gave to social security and give them that but then i've got to wait three months for them to make the decision so i know what i'm doing so i have to have that sick note from the from the english doctors in the meantime so that i don't have to start going to job center appointments um before they've made their decision essentially so I've got that to sort out as well. Um, it's been quite stressy the past few weeks. Um, it's been quite difficult, uh, but at least we now have a place we're going. Um, I know when we're going. Um, I'm able to at least keep the kids relatively informed. Erica knows obviously what we're doing now as well, which helps her, because um, she thought we'd kind of hit a, a massive roadblock. She was struggling for the first two or three days after we got turned down for that house because she had her heart set on that. Um, but I, we, we've managed to fix it, we've managed to pull it in. It's all booked in. Um, we, we, we'll leave here. Uh, the guys are going to come here on the 3rd and 4th to take away our stuff. We will arrive in the UK on the uh, morning of the 5th. I drive up there and then we get given our stuff back on the 6th. So it's going to be a mental week that week. I will try and film some of it to show people how much of um, what moving to the UK is like. Um, I said I would from the beginning and I will try to do that. Um, but this will probably, as you're watching this, uh, be the... Probably one of the last. I've got a couple more... Um, videos I'm going to try and go out and film this week whether I get them out or not beforehand I'm not sure um, but this will probably be the last video that you get before June from Jersey I have got some other stuff um, filmed from Jersey and a couple more I'm hoping to get filmed before I go um, from Jersey that I will be putting out in the meantime um, I have been doing some research on North Yorkshire so there's some um, not too far from me in the Dales, there's some abandoned uh, mills and stuff where we're, we can go and have a look at um, and uh, what have you. So there should be another, including this one, about four or five videos from Jersey, but this will probably be the last one with me actually living in Jersey. So as they're being uploaded, I'll be in the UK. You also, if you get a video from Jersey and then in between you get a video a bit like this for me in the UK in the middle, um showing you i don't know the new house or um that we've moved in that kind of stuff that will be why it's out of sync um just because i haven't had time to do the editing side and i have for the past few videos put up videos i'm not i've said this before 100 percent happy with so for that reason um i'm going to try to 
I'm maybe for the time being at least go down to a video. I would like to still do a video week, but if not, I might go down to a video every fortnight or so until we get everything sorted and I can get the time to give you the kind of standard of the videos that I'm used to giving you um, with the proper, proper editing and stuff like I was doing at the beginning of the JER videos. Um, and when I did the Halloween video back in October, that kind of standard. Um, because I don't like the idea of giving you guys substandard videos. That's not what you subscribed for. Um, and that's not definitely not going to help the channel. Um, so for the benefit of you guys and for future subscribers, I want to do the best I can with the videos I'm giving out. So with that in mind, um, I've got a very special uh, video coming out for you next week. It's one I've had in the pipeline for about four months. Um, I wasn't going to do it until I had the time to do it properly, um, which I now have because I have a couple of quiet days before we have to go off to England um, and sort out those. So I'm going to do it over those few days because it's um, over a couple of locations. Um, also, I'll get that. That's what you'll be getting next Sunday. I've got a few more history videos, like I say, in the pipeline. Um, if your current subscriber thank you if you're new um and this is the first time you've seen me and it's waffling on it's not normally like this it's normally far more i'm normally doing like history videos or showing you kind of uh far more interesting things in the uk we'll be doing um hikes and and looking at abandoned mills and gent lots of kind of interesting outdoor stuff which is why it's called adventure 82 um and so until next week to all of you thank you very much for subscribing and watching um and if you're new uh go back and watch my other earlier videos to see how i can make videos that i'm not waffling on um and i'll see you guys next sunday with a brand new video um to do with the history of jersey see you soon